what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys i'm just in here in my um, email sequences which is um, aka my email autoresponder my drip system whatever the hell you guys want to call it um, inside of kartra they call it a sequence and that's just the automated emails that go out um, to whoever opts into a list now this is optional whoever opts into a landing page like any landing page when you go to a landing page and you opt in to download their free offer, to watch a training video, to watch a webinar, whatever, any opt-in page. When you go to that opt-in page, you fill out the form, like this one, for example. If you just go to, again, any landing page, this form that you fill out right here, that puts you automatically on a list, right? So you're automatically on a list, no matter what software you're using and that's and and i'm telling you man you if you've been following me for a while that's why i keep talking about kartra because when it comes to building an online business you need a handful of tools that are absolutely required and all those tools are normally individual um independent separate softwares that you have to pay multiple prices for multiple monthly services for every single month inside and so inside of Kartra it's all in one so normally you have your monthly fee for your landing pages and then now what I'm about to show you which is my sequences my list my email list my email sequences normally that's a whole nother monthly service a whole different software a whole different company that you'll have to pay for every month as well but again inside of Kartra it's all in one so um, that's why this software is a game changer, man, because I'd have to juggle multiple services and mul multiple monthly payments, which is absolutely crazy, right? So again, anyone that goes to a landing page, they opt in, they're automatically on a list, okay? So it's optional to tie a sequence to that list. So what I always advise and what I always you know, coach on is yes, whatever list that person has opted into, there should be a follow-up sequence in place, right? No matter what the heck it is. Like, and it doesn't have to be a ton of emails. Now in this example, or actually it's not even an example, this is a real life you know, sequence that I'm gonna be showing you guys that I'm working on for a friend of mine. Um, but not every sequence has to be tied to a ton of emails. I always stress the importance of having at least a handful of emails a handful of emails need to be in this sequence. So if I'm opting into your to your to download your PDF or your free, you know, freaking training video, or if I'm opting into a webinar, a, a presentation, an online presentation, or if you're a real estate agent and I'm opting in for information on a listing that you're selling, or I'm opting in because you're promoting an open house that you have coming up this weekend, or you're running Facebook ads and getting people to download your free seller guide or your free buyer guide, whatever the heck you're, you're promoting, man. First of all, you need to be taking them to a landing page. And then that person again would be on a list. And then the sequence, no matter what the offer is up front, if I'm opting in, there should be a handful of emails that follow. Okay. And it doesn't have to be a lot, but there needs to be a handful. And that's the sequence. So in this case, what I'm working on today uh, for a buddy of mine, shout out to Marlon. Um, I am working on this sequence. I'm helping him out and simply um, adding some emails to the sequence. And it's very simple because there's just a, he just has a ton of videos um, that he wants help with as far as inside of the sequence. So again, some sequences you can have a ton you can have as many as you want you can have freaking 75 emails that follow you know after a person opts in and 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 again the power of this is it's all automated that's the sequence that's the email autoresponder it's freaking automated so you want either a handful or depending on the campaign you can have a ton you know of of emails that go out um and it's just totally preference. It's totally up to you. Um, and so in this case, I'm going to just kind of show you Kartra's side of it all. Um, as you log into Kartra, you'll click on my communications and that will actually bring you to this part right here to the list. Now, what I always do is I always open up these other tabs right below. So you have my pages, my forms, my memberships, my calendars. In fact, I'll open up that. What I do is I hover over it 
I right click and I open link in a new tab because as I'm in the email sequence, so right here, my communications, here are all the different lists that people opt into um, and then communications hover over that, click on sequences and then now I'm gonna go into the, into the automated you know, sequence and set all those emails up. But as I'm in the sequence and as I'm in an email builder, Sometimes I'll need a link to a page. Sometimes I'll need a link to my calendar. So that's why I open up these other pages. Here's the calendar, or these are their tabs, I should say. Here's my pages. So just in case when I'm in the actual sequence, when I'm in the actual email builder and I'm writing out the content, if I need to grab a page, okay, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll come to this tab and I'll grab that, that link right here. I'll get code or link and I'll get the link to that page and boom, I can just tie this link inside of the email if needed, right? And which is, which is what I'm gonna be doing. So um, I'll have up a separate tab for all of that, for the pages, okay? So let me show you what I am doing. Um, so again, log in, click on my communications, hover over communications, we're right here in the sequences, okay? So I'm gonna scroll down and look for that sequence, which is this one right here. And this is a sequence where all I'm doing is adding a ton of pages. So I'm gonna add multiple emails, um, but they're really all tied to pages. Um, and those are gonna be part of the email. So I'll show you how I do this. So here, 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 here is where it all begins. This is the actual layout. So again, man, a lot of you guys are trying to build something online. You're paying one monthly fee for your landing pages, and then you're paying another monthly fee for your email autoresponder. I'm telling you, you're spending way more money than you, you need to. So there's a 14-day trial in the description, profitwithkartra.online. Set up a 14-day trial, compare it to every other service you're using to try to build something online, and see if it doesn't change the way you look at everything. Um, and once you activate a 14-day trial, send me a message, send me an email, comment below, let me know you got it activated, and I'll give you all my time for free. We'll jump on a strategy call, I'll walk you through all this, I'll help you get off to a fast start. All right, so set it up and compare it. But here's how it all works out, man. Um, you got everything over here to the left, send email, send text, which is the SMS. Um, I can add a tag, I can unsubscribe. This thing is amazing when it comes to the automation, man. The automation, if this person clicks here, send them this email. If they buy this product, don't send them that, that email. If they, um, if they don't have this tag, remove them from the list and, and, and subscribe them to a different list. There's so many things you can do inside of it as far as the automation, which is absolutely insane, man. Um, so I won't get into all of that, but I'll just show you the basics on how to send this, this, this email. Okay, how to, how to set it all up where multiple emails are going out. Okay, so in this case, we have 10. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, I'm gonna 11, I'm gonna add a few more. Okay, and I'll show you how I do it. So, but here's where it all starts, the starting rule. Okay, so we're gonna come in here and we're gonna tell the system, whoever fills out this form, okay, send them the following sequence. That's what this is. I could do it based on the form. I could do it based on a tag. I can do it based on the list. It's, it's kind of all the same thing. The form and the list could be the same thing. Um, or I can even tag that person, right? And, 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 and put that here in the starting rule. And whoever has this tag, send them the following sequence, right? So in this case, I just go with form. Um, lead fills, fills form a SIA Redox opt-in. And they, re, they start to you know, receive the actual following emails, which is this one right here. One day later, they're gonna get email number one. Okay, so these are all emails that I already have set up, and that's why I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm about to go on a number 12, and I'm like, shit, let me just you know, share it with my YouTube fam, and, and hopefully some of you guys can see what I'm doing and get value out of it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add 12, 13, 14, 15. I won't bore you to death on all the, all the rest, but I'll show you number 12 and show you how I do it. So um, just imagine, you know, these ones, you know, here, here's email number one, but I'll start on email number 12. Just imagine that as email number one, it's the same damn thing. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to simply remove this link and I'm going to give myself some space here. I'm going to drop this lower one. I'm going to drag it, this bottom complete. I'm going to drag this a little lower. And the reason why I even have a complete here, 
um, is so I can track the analytics. So I can see through the analytics, through the reporting, who completed, who finished the sequence, right? And who didn't. And so who's still in the sequence, who may be on email number nine, right? I can look at all that when I'm looking at the, at the, at the reports. Um, and then I can also see who completed it. So that's why this complete is at the bottom. Um, and it's going to be connected to the very last email. So in this case, here's all we're going to do. We're going to focus on, on, on the next email. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag and drop this right here. And, and again, this is how each email looks. So whether this is email number one that we're starting at at the top, or again, in this case, email number 12, um, it's going to be, this, it's, it's the same process. It's the same uh, flow. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to go through delay, day and time, communication, gateway, recipient, split test, content automation. So here's what I can do. If this was email number one, I can, I can send right after previous step. What was previous step? Previous step was the opt-in form. So the moment they opt into this form or the moment they have, they're tagged or the moment they um, get added to this list, which is instantly the moment they opt into the form, right? The moment they go to the landing page and opt in, they're automatically opting into a form or they're automatically on a list, right? That, that type of stuff happens instantly. I can go right here and go previous, right after previous step, which, which, which that would be the step. Right. So in this case, because I'm on email number 12, I'm going to go wait a number of days and I'm going to go wait one day. And you can go, you can send these out emails out whenever the hell you want, man. You can go every other day. You can go every day. You can go freaking every five hours. You can go freaking whatever, every 10 days, send another email. So you can program this to whatever, you know, you, you prefer. And in this case, we're going to just go, we're sending one every, 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 every day. Okay. And, and, and here's the thing, this sequence is longer than most, like only because he has a ton of videos and um, he wants every email, every, every video, video to go out on every, every damn email um, until that person unsubscribes, until they, until they purchase or unsubscribe. That's what this is all about. So um, in this case, we're going to go one day and then we're going to hit next. Okay, perfect. Now this right here, I leave... Um, by default, I just leave it as is. Sometimes people will only want to send between, you know, working hours, for example, during the day, you know, an email goes out. But when it when you leave it at, at, at the default setting at any time of day, allow days Monday through Sunday. And I'm and, and for example, in this case, I'm going one day, one day after previous step, right? So the email number 11 that went out yesterday, one day later, email number 12 is going out, right? So all that is, it's based on that, that whole delay, the one day delay is based on when they open that, e or it's based on when that email was sent out. So if that email was sent out, you know, at freaking 11 PM on Thursday, this next one is going to go out at 11 PM on Friday. And all that starts based on, um, on, on the start and rule. So if they opt in at 12 p.m., right, one day later at 12 p.m., that email is going to go out. One day later at 12 p.m., the next one's going to go out. One day later at 12 p.m., the 12th email is going to go out, right? So that's what it's based on when you leave it like this. If you don't want it to go out at a crazy hour, then, then you can go or between, right? But again, I, I, it's, it's all based on the initial um, engagement. If they opt in at a certain time, that's what time they're online, right? And that's when they start to receive it. So start, start to receive, you know, this following sequence. But I'll just leave it like that. So again, whatever time they start the, 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 the initial, you know, opt-in is the day, is the time that we're going to keep everything flowing. Okay, so I leave it as is. I'll hit next. And then the name of broadcast, you want to get very specific with this, just so when you look at everything on the, from, from a, you know, 30,000 square foot view on how I'm looking at it, you know, when, when we're not here in this setup, as I showed you email one through 11, right? When you're looking at it like that, you don't want to just look at it and say email 10, email 13, even though that's how these ones are set up. We're going to go in and, and, and get more specific with that. Because if you look at email number three, it's like, shit, how do I even remember what email number three is, right? Like I'd have to click in it, go into it, 
look at the content, look at the email and, and, and look at the subject line to see what freaking email that was. If I'm just going email number one, email number two. So I want to, I want to be more specific in the future with this. In this case, I'm going to just keep, keep the flow going. And this is going to be email uh, number. Um, what, what number was this? 12 email number 12. I'll just keep it like this for the time for the, you know, time of, of this example. But um, as you're setting yours up, you're going to want to be more specific. So this is where it's coming from. It's coming from that email, coming from that name, coming from that email or replying. If they reply, they, they'll reply to that email. So that has to be a business email. Okay. You can't put a Gmail there or a Yahoo. That has to be your, um, your business email. Now, when we're down into the sequence this far down, I would, I always say email number two and on right here. In this case, we're on freaking email number 12. I always say from email number two and on, I'm only going to send if they're still subscribed. Okay. So if they're still subscribed to the list, which is this one, then they'll continue to receive these emails. Okay. If they unsubscribed on email number three, they're not getting email number four. Okay. And that's what this is. The GDPR, that's if you're um, um, capturing leads and running ads and building a list of people in Europe that applies to that. But in this case, I'm not, this is all us based. So we'll just not have to worry about that. This is going to be a single email hit next. And then here goes the actual content. This is the email content. So right here, man, this is powerful. This is super powerful. Um, right here in basic text, I could just go subject line text, basic text, right? I can use these right here. Um, copy, call them out by their first name, call them out by their first name. I could put their first name wherever the heck, heck within the, within the um, email or the subject line. And that, that first name is going to pull the dynamic variable. It's going to pull the, the lead's name, obviously, right? I use that a lot. I call them by their first name in every email. I'll always use their first name in everything. So this is basic text. I can go advanced and I can go design templates and I can look at full templates and I can look at all these different ones that Karcher already has designed. And all I got to do is click, drag, drop, and then I can work out of that one. Change the color, change the image, change the text, you know, change the, 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 the um, button and where that links to the yellow button and where it links to. I have a cheat sheet right here. So a lot of it is already done if I want to use one of these templates, right? Um, or I can simply come down and start building my own. There's the headline, text, click this text, drag it over, or any of these other templates of text, click it, drag it over. Um, I can do that on text. I can do that on a content. If I want a content box, images, buttons, videos, headers. So I can, it's like building my own damn page, right? I can do that inside of an email and build out my own email. And whether I'm using an actual template, a full template that Karcher already has designed, or whether I'm building my own, what I always want to do, and this is for email number one, like when I come in here for the very, very, very first time, I want to either, again, get a full template and use one of those and, and, and edit it to my liking, or I'm going to build my own, right? Click, drag, click, drag, and just edit from there. Um, but whatever, it, whatever I may do, I'm talking about the first email. What I'm going to do with that is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to save as template. That way, when I come here in here and create future emails, I'll have it in my templates and I can just use that and drag that over and just go off of that. And I can, I can, I can edit from here. And the reason why I do it is because of copyrights, the Facebook icon, normally there's an Instagram, there's a LinkedIn, but in this case, Marlon only has the Facebook. So we only use this one, the Facebook one, but I, but I, I mainly use a template so I don't have to, so I don't have to keep doing it over and over and over. And at the same time, most importantly, so all my emails are consistent. Like you don't want to send out, and I, now I'm very big on the details when it comes to landing pages, your sales funnel and your emails. It has to be consistent. And what do I mean by consistent? I mean the footer, I mean the social media icons, I mean the color, 
Like you want to be consistent. It doesn't have to be extravagant. It doesn't have to be crazy over the top freaking professional looking type of deal. No, I'm not talking about the aesthetic. Actually, I am talking about the aesthetics, but what I'm talking about are the basics, the details. Paying attention to the detail of the color or, or the footer. Like don't send me email number one and this bottom line, bottom footer isn't here. And don't send me multiple emails where um, each email is a different color, right? Like stay consistent. This is your branding. And again, it doesn't have to be over the top. It just has to be consistent. Like this right here is super basic, but it's consistent. The copyright's going to be consistent. The Facebook icon's going to be on each email. Um, it's it's going to, we're going to stay consistent. And even with this other one, this one right here, look, it's consistent. There's that black header there's that black footer there's that orange button it's consistent and again i can click drag it over and if i don't if i'm on email number 19 and i don't want the orange button of course i can delete it i can delete anything in, inside of here but but it just saves me time on having to recreate another one recreate another one i just save it and use that one over and over and over and just try to stay you know as consistent as possible with with the basic branding of it of it all so in this case, we're just rocking with this basic one, but again, it's already here. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to simply click on edit and I'm going to change out the link for this watch here. I'm going to, I'm going to simply unlink it and I'm going to link a new page. And that's why I have my pages open over here. So I'm going to come down to email number, what are we on? 12. So I'm going to come down to number 12. And I'm going to grab this one right here, get code or link. And this is the link that I want to grab. And so I'm going to open this up in a new tab just to double check it. And this is the next email, the next video we want to send. Now, why are we sending them to a page? Okay. You might be thinking, okay, well, shit, David, why don't you just send them to your video on YouTube, right? The reason for it, man, two Three, three reasons, three reasons why we sent them to a page. So as I have this page up, let me come back over here and let me just link this watch here. Let me paste in that link, hit okay. There we go, we got that one linked right there. I can always send test email. Um, but what I'm gonna do, Jack, take a look at this new video. Okay, so that's that right there, but here's the deal. And, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply, so I'm gonna leave it like that. That's, there's my email, watch here. There's my freaking basic email. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit next, and I'm gonna go back to the three reasons why we sent them to a page. New automation, you don't need that just yet. I'm gonna click create. And now we have email number 12 ready to go. Once I click on, once I hover over the three dots, activate, and then connect it. So I'm gonna connect it there, and I'm gonna connect it to the complete, okay? Now I'm gonna go on through 13, 14, 15, but what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna hit done and exit just so I can completely save it. And then what I can always do is I can always come back into it. Now I don't exit every time, I'm just doing it in this case. Click edit, and now we're gonna come back in, and we'll see number 12 at the very bottom. And then what I'm going to do, and, and that's what I'm doing right now, but again, I just thought I'd record a, a piece of this for you guys. Um, I'm going to take it to number 20. So I'm going to go email number 12, and I'm going to continue. So all I got to do is click this right here to arrange. That, that way we can get the, the fresh lineup. Um, and there goes email, email number 12. And what I'll do for 13 is I'm going to unlink this. I'm going to drag this down just like I did previously. Give myself a little bit of space and I'm gonna drop 13 right there in the middle. But here's the page, okay? So why send them to a page and not the video directly, right? The YouTube video directly, for example. Three reasons. Reason number one is so we can track them with our Facebook pixel. Everyone who's landing here, we're, 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 we're activating that pixel. We're letting Facebook know, hey man, these are people that are in our custom audience. These are people that are landing on our pages. These are people that we want to retarget with future ads. That's reason number one. That's why we take them to a page so we can Facebook pixel them. 
Number two is so I can keep their attention. If I send them to YouTube, if I click this right here, actually, well, wherever the, you know, the email, inside of the email, if I have them click watch here and it takes them straight to YouTube, right? Because let's say I'm hosting the video on YouTube. Um, and let's say I take them straight here. And before you know it, you know, they're watching a freaking video. I take them straight to YouTube. They're, they're watching this. Here's what it looks like. Before you know it, they're freaking getting sold from a different ad. Before you know it, they're over here because we all have ADD and our attention span is so freaking short. All of a sudden, because I took them straight to YouTube, to my YouTube video, all of a sudden they're over here freaking scrolling on the right hand side and all of a sudden they're watching a completely different video in freaking Arabic right? Like, it's like the attention span of an individual is absolutely crazy, crazy short. So I'm taking them to one page so I can keep their attention. Okay. For as long as I possibly can, because again, the attention span is already short. So it's like, dang, I gotta, I gotta do my absolute best to keep their attention here and here only. I don't need them clicking on any other video. That's number two, their attention. I keep their attention. Number three, call to action. So in that video, there's a call to action. This is how you guys want to lay out your email sequences. Stop, stop sending me boring text emails. Put yourself out on video and, and create a sequence where every freaking email is a video. That's what these are. Every email is a video. They click, it brings them straight to a page where they're watching a video. And in that video, there's a call to action to either place their order or to join the team. Okay. That right there is the third reason is to, is the call to action. That's why we bring them to a page. And so that's why the email, the text is very short, right? The very, the text is very short. Cause I don't need them reading a freaking storybook. I need them clicking and watching a damn video. Cause it's, it's the video that's going to sell them, you know, even more seeing a real person in this case, they're seeing a real testimony and they're like, dude, they're, they're, they're sold. Right? So being on the page right away, they see the, the, the awesomeness of, of the team and, and what's going on and the, and the experience people are having, the experiences people are having. And then boom, all they got to do is click the button, place, click the button, place their order and cha-ching, right? Money is made, orders are being, are being sold. Um, so that right there, you guys, is how I set up email sequences. Um, and again, in this case, we're going pretty far, man, right? 12 emails, 13 emails, 14. We're going to take this up to freaking 45. Um, but, in, but, but again, you don't have to always have that many emails in an email autoresponder. Having just a few is the most important. Like, like, for example, again, if you're in real estate, right? If you're in real estate and you're running an ad for a listing, I, I go to your page. Like, let me give you a real example. Let's say you're sending me from a Facebook ad. I click on learn more and you're taking me straight to this one page. Get instant access to the price and photos of this property, right? You're taking me straight here. I click on the yellow button. I opt in right away. I'm getting email number one. Okay. Right away, right away. I'm getting email number one. Okay. Now this is one day later, but I would set it where it goes out immediately, right? Right away. I'm getting email number one. Email number two is going out tomorrow. Email number two could be, hey, Don, hey, hey, Dave, just wanted to follow up. This is Jason. I know yesterday you inquired on 777 Plaza Boulevard. Hey, I'll tell you what, the property is still available. There's a lot of families that are looking at this house. They want to put it under contract as soon as possible. We want to put it under, under contract, you know, as soon as possible. But I'll tell you, not, not anyone has, has done that just yet. So let me tell you a little bit more about this property. And what I want you to do is click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your private showing. And I can't wait to talk to you, John. Have a great day. That could be an email that goes out the following day. The next day after that, which will be the third day, another email. The fourth day, another email. Now, in this case, it's a listing. So the listing's not going to stay open. Now, depending on your market, depending on how badass you are as an agent, depending on how, 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 how everything kind of you know, folds, folds out, that property can stay on the market for a long time and this property could sell by tonight. We don't ever know it. So you don't want to set up 45 emails. You don't want to set up more, set up more, no more than 10 emails when it's, when it's more urgent in this, like in this kind of case, it's a freaking house. It's not going to be on the market forever. So I wouldn't send, send a, a, a ton of emails in the sequence, but I would for sure set up five. If it's an open house, same thing, 
five, you know, a good five to seven emails. So you'll be the good, you'll be a good judge of, 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 of your offer. Every business is a little different. Um, and so sometimes you'll want to go crazy and set up a ton of emails in the sequence. Um, and sometimes you'll want to create more urgency where there's only a handful of emails and that person better freaking buy. They better schedule the call. They better freaking do something now, right? There's urgency. So you'll, you'll, you'll know, you know, how many emails you, you can, you, you know, you, you'd, you'd want to set up, but let me show you this as well. Let me go to, um, let's hit done and exit. Let's say, for example, you only set up five emails. Let's say there's only five emails that are automated, ready to go out to your list of people who are opting in for whatever you're offering, right? And let's say, let's say after five emails, it's completed, right? Those people, they're, they're, they're done. They've already got all five emails. And let's say these people never purchased. They didn't schedule an appointment. They didn't do what you wanted them to do, right? They're still on that list, right? What you can do and what you will do after that is you can always send a broadcast. So a broadcast is a one-off email. That email, I can send a broadcast to that list in two weeks from now or on the ninth day, right? There was only five emails that were set to go out automatically, but on day nine, I automatically had a, had a freaking, you know, freaking epiphany. I had a crazy idea and I wanted to share it with those people right away. So I would send a broadcast. That's a one off email. I can go broadcast and I can send it to anyone on the list and, and that would be a one time email. So after the sequence is done, that's what I'll do. Right. I'll, and even, even, even within the sequence, like let's say for example, these are people, there's a five day email sequence set up. Five emails are going to go out every, every day for the next five days. And we're on day three. And all of a sudden, some random idea pops in my brain and I want to share it with everyone. I could for sure come in here and hit broadcast and send it to anyone and everyone on a list, no matter where they are in a sequence, what, no matter if they're on email number nine or email number 45 or email number one inside of a sequence, it does not matter. Broadcast, I can send it to whoever, whenever. But again, those are one off emails. That's just a one-time email that you'll broadcast, you'll send right away to whoever um, on a list right? So sequences, broadcast, those are going to be your best friends. And then automations, you could track everything. You could track who opened the email, who got the email, who clicked on the email. You could track all that inside of automations um, and analytics. So actually in analytics, and in analytics is where you'll track everything, but automations is where you set up the automation. So if they if they finish this sequence, if they finish this five day sequence, unsubscribe them from the list and subscribe them to this other list. That's an automation. An, an automation would be, okay, anyone on this email list that is receiving these email sequences, right? Whoever buys this specific product, unsubscribe them from that list and subscribe them to the buyer's list. All that is done in automations. That's why I'm telling you, man, this entire freaking thing is a machine and most people have to spend multiple freaking dollars for every month for multiple services to make all this stuff happen and, and glue it all together. But in Karcher's case, it's all in one, man. So I, all I can do is encourage you, encourage you. If you're following my channel, you're trying to do something online, whether you're a real estate agent, you're trying to capture leads online for listings, buyers, freaking giving away a seller guide, you have an open house, you're trying to capture a lead, whether you're e-commerce and trying to make a sell online, whether you're a consultant and you're trying to book calls online, whatever the hell you're trying to do online, this is basic software that you're going to need no matter what, man. And all I can do is encourage you to compare it to what you're trying to use now. Okay. It's completely night and day and it will save you a ton of time, a ton of, a ton of headache, and most importantly, a ton of money. Don't go broke before you really pop off and, and, and make it big online. Try to conserve, try to be freaking smart with what you're doing as far as spending. These are, these are our, our resources, right? This is our budget. This is our marketing budget. Whatever the heck all these tools consist of is marketing dollars that you have to put out every month. Cartridge just makes it easier to manage it all and to be able to afford it all. And so that's why I jumped on Cartridge now over two years ago and have been crushing it ever since. And now all I do is consult, I coach, I help other people, you know, with their Karcher account um, so they can be successful and everyone wins, right? So link is in, is in the description, you guys. Profitwithkarcher.online. Set up a 14-day trial. 
hit me up. I'll jump on a strategy call with you, give you my time for free, and again, help you get off to a fast start. All right, guys, so over and out, I'm going to continue with email number 13 and on, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.